Do you want to learn exactly how to grow your Instagram page to get your first 10,000 followers? Well, luckily for you, within less than three months, I learned exactly how to take my Instagram page from zero to over 25,000 followers, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this. And as always guys, make sure you stay until the end of the video because as usual, I like to give away resources that I personally use to help grow my page so you don't want to miss it. Alright guys, and one more thing before we get started with the guide, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of August, so definitely hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow. And without further ado, let's get into the $10,000 Instagram guide. These resources that I'm going to be giving you guys and the tips and tricks come directly from Instagram themselves. So it's actually pretty easy to replicate this because they're literally telling you exactly how they want you to use the platform. So the best way you can optimize yourself and grow. So the first thing is everyone starts somewhere. I started with zero Instagram followers and I did it growing it organically from scratch. I didn't pay um, to really have anybody pump up my account or anything. I didn't pay for followers because that's honestly inorganic and it's gonna hurt your account. So let's get that out the way. So as you can see by that left screenshot, I started March 31st, 2021, right? So it's actually, you know, I didn't start too long ago. And in this middle picture here, you can see I'm at 27,000 followers and I'm projected to hit about 30,000 followers by the end of this week. Um, so I started with nothing and grew and the technique is posting a lot of content, but primarily reels. And we're going to be breaking down reels, what you should post on your reels and how often you should post. But I really started to post more on reels and Instagram themselves said they're moving towards less of a photo sharing app and more of a video sharing app. This is their way to compete with other platforms like TikTok. So reels is going to be the main reason I grew and it's going to be the main reason a lot of Instagram accounts are going to grow. So on the right here, um, it goes without saying you need to have content interaction. People need to be able to look at your account and interact with that. So as you can see there, I have 38,000 plus content interaction, right? So that basically is saying that's a lot of content interaction. Um, and this was within uh, from June 1st to June 30th. This is the month I really grew. Uh, and it really just came down to posting content that people can interact with. And we're going to break down my account in a little bit here, but I want to just quickly do a quick overview. Um, so basically to get content interaction, people need to be liking, commenting, and most importantly, they need to be sharing your content. So you got to make content that's shareable. And what kind of content is very shareable? It's actually pretty easy. Informational and educational content. And that's what my page is surrounded by. I teach people how to do digital marketing slash affiliate marketing. And I make a lot of educational or motivational content that people will share with their family members or friends. Um, so that's the best type of thing. Sharing content tells the Instagram algorithm like this content is really good. We want to have as many people get access to it. Um, so shareable content is very great. So that's just a quick overview. Everyone starts somewhere. Get into the mindset. You have to understand that no one starts with a lot of followers. We all start from zero. So let's break down a little bit more of the technical stuff. So I think this article is actually really good. I'll link it down in the description that kind of briefly describes the changes coming to Instagram surrounding video. But basically to kind of summarize this short paragraph here, they're going to be trying to recommend more video content. So reels and IGTV are going to be playing a bigger role within the growth of Instagram. So guys, if you're coming over from TikTok or you're just trying to grow up from scratch, understand that video content is king. And we're going to be breaking down in the next couple of minutes here what kind of content does does the best and how you should caption your content and also put hashtags on your videos so um, basically they're going to be saying here that the ceo himself adam is basically saying instagram is looking to start to use videos more for entertainment factor and this is how you can grow your business you can make educational content that's also entertaining um, and i'll be breaking that down um, and also how to use the popular and trendy sounds as well so let's get into that part of the video so it makes sense if you're trying to become a creator on instagram that you actually follow the creators page they do a great job of releasing content that helps you go viral and go trendy so one of the best things that i personally use to help grow my channel is that every week they actually release a report of the trends going on amongst instagram so for example we see the reels trend report Report with of July 29th this is where you can click on and actually see what kind of content is doing great and the algorithms purposely use the kind of content that's trending and pushes it out more so we can see here 
they'll tell you the song, the challenge, they'll give you some ads, they'll tell you what the start time is and some pro tips. Use this hashtag in your real description for a chance to get highlighted in uh, the stories. So they're literally showing you and telling you exactly what you need to do to grow. Um, so definitely follow the creators page and, and look for content that is trending and people are literally just following what's working and it does pretty well. So let's take a look, a breakdown of my um, Instagram page and how we use business accounts to grow. So you could either be using this to grow your personal account or you could be using this to grow your business. But basically, you want to start off with having a decent description, a really good description, um, kind of explaining exactly what you are, what you're planned to do, how you plan to help people or service people if you have a business um, or if you're just doing it as a personal thing. Let's say you're doing fashion or fitness. Make sure that's pretty clear and abundant in your description. Uh, because that's the first thing people read and if you have a link or a website make sure people are aware how to get started uh, so just have an arrow pointing to that in your um, in your uh, bio there um, the type of content that I upload is as you can see your educational content uh, we'll we'll take a look here but these are just a lot of motivational stuff quotes uh, mindset stuff and you can easily get these made on canva we'll briefly go over that uh, but this is really it doesn't take too much time uh, but let's take a look at one of my better performing posts right here. As you can see, it is really quick, really simple. And these are the type of things that do really well. Money is a tool, not the goal. Freedom is the goal. Don't forget that. I have a short description explaining that. I have a call to action to check the link in my bio. You know, drop a follow, leave a like. Um, and then hashtags. Now, this is what we're going to be segueing, um, segueing to shortly here. But for the longest time, Instagram recommended you use 30 hashtags on your on your post, on your videos, everything. But now there's a new algorithm change. They prefer you actually use 8 to 15-ish um, hashtags now. They're reducing the amount of hashtags needed because it's confusing the algorithm. And it also allows you to be more um, concise. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to show you um, a website that I personally like to use to find good hashtags and related hashtags. So that's one big thing to take away from this video. Use less hashtags. 8 to 15 is a sweet spot. Instagram themselves are saying that this is the more preferred uh, fashion. So right here, um, this is when I was using about 30 hashtags. And now I've been using less hashtags. And I've been using them on my reels. And my reels have been going a little bit more viral. 13,000, 16,000, 11,000. Uh, 11,000 again, then we scroll down to 8,000, 44,000, 362,000, 8,000, 14,000, um, and stuff like that. So how do we actually get viral reels? Because this is how you're going to grow. Um, if you make feed post, that's not going to really allow you to grow. It's not really going to hit the explore page as much, especially since Instagram, once again, is moving towards video content. So what's the formula to creating a viral reel? I'm going to explain to you that in the next couple of minutes. Here. All right, guys. So this is actually the most important part of the video. I definitely want you to like and follow right now because after these next couple of minutes, you'll know exactly how to go viral on Instagram and start to gain a lot of followers quickly. So make sure you pay close attention and smash that like button. All right. So how do you create a viral video or grow as many followers as possible with video content on Instagram? This right here is the exact formula. I'm going to break it down for you to a science. we got to start off with a hook value call to action, right? Then two is trendy sounds. And then three is a specific niche. Now, if you haven't for some reason already created a specific niche, you need to absolutely do that. Stick to one thing only and posting content around that one thing. That way, when people go and follow your account, they know exactly what they get their, um, that what they're going to be getting. And this will also help boost your engagement and content interaction because people are following you for this reason and you're consistently posting that. Okay, so let's break down the first thing here. Hook value call to action. What the heck does that mean? So hooks um, and actually we'll go back real quick. Hooks are the first three seconds of every video. Watch time, watch time, watch time. I can't stress that enough. Watch time is the most important thing for viral videos. Knowing that the algorithm can detect how long the watch time of, on a video is, is the most important thing. The longer your video gets watch time, the more people are in engaging with it and liking it. And that's going to boost it to the algorithm. That's going to boost it more. So you need to start off with a strong hook. What the heck is a hook, Alex? A hook is the first three seconds you're grabbing the, the watch's attention with something very um, eye catchy or you're saying something that really targets them and makes them stop scrolling. Then you want to add value. So you tell them something, 
you get you grab them in with a hook you immediately provide value so that way they're consistent they're they're watching the video now you got them in with a hook now to keep them watching you have to provide value and education or something or even entertainment um, and then call to and then at the end of the video you want to have a call to action so chances are if they get to the end of the video they most likely liked it or engaged with it so you want to have a call to action either like and follow for more that's probably one of the best call to actions or um, check the link in my bio if you're trying to sell something or promote something and then trendy sounds we'll go over that it's real simple uh, but let's go over the best hooks what are the best hooks to grab people's attention what are, what can i possibly say to stop people from scrolling well here it is these are the 10 best hooks for growing on TikTok, on instagram this is no matter what it is these are the best 10 hooks you'll possibly ever uh, need and i promise you if you use these hooks you'll most likely have a viral video right so let's break them down step by step real quick here. So the number one one is you won't believe this. That's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. People are going to hear that and be like, what, 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 what am I not going to believe? Another key factor to this hook here is that you start off the word with you or you start off the sentence with you. Anytime you use the word you or you're addressing someone like you're having a conversation, it generally engages them more and you, you, it stops them from scrolling more likely than not. Uh, number two is number, number of reasons why. So here are the top five reasons why you're stuck at your nine to five job, right? Something like that, right? People, once again, they're going to want to listen out to the, your list now. You're listing something. Um, so they want to listen. Listen and, and, and hear what you have to say. Something you didn't know. This one's okay. You know, I, I like to use it um, every now and again, but it's not the best one, but it's still pretty good. It's still one of the best hooks. Um, number four is simple, important tips. So if it's like an everyday thing, like for example, air cleaners or Q-tips, right? Here's a, here's a tip you didn't know. Q-tips aren't supposed to clean your ears. And most people don't realize that it's something simple it's so basic but sometimes that's what stops people from scrolling believe it or not um so number five is 10 um insert tip here i wish i knew earlier so here are 10 websites i wish i knew earlier or here here are 10 ways to clean your car that i wish i knew earlier you know something like that um once again whenever you're listing something here's the here's the technique guys whenever you're listing something generally speaking that's going to involve more engagement um top five sites or creators i used to do um blank right i forgot to put the blank there but top five sites or creator i used to do such and such for example here are the top five websites i used to um create my youtube videos or here are the top five creators i use to learn how to invest in stocks once again listing something how i got blank in 24 hours here's how i made five thousand dollars in 24 hours or here's how i grow uh, my instagram account from zero to ten thousand followers within 24 hours Number eight is nobody's talking about this. Whenever people like to be a part of inclusiveness, and if you're saying no one's talking about this, it kind of makes it seem like it's a secret or some um, best kept secret, and people want to be involved. They got to listen now what you're talking about. This is why your blank isn't working. Uh, this is why your Instagram account isn't growing. This is why your, your YouTube isn't making you money. Um, and last but not least, here are the number one and then tiny tips that can help you do such and such. Here are the top five ways you can get more engagement on your Instagram account. Blah, blah, blah. These are the top 10 hooks. Screenshot this, save it for later, post it wherever you need to post it, you know, share with a friend or family member. But I promise you, these are the hooks that do the best. And this is how you're going to in increase your watch time and get people to stop scrolling. And then, of course... You want to provide value immediately. So you say one of these 10 hooks here, you want to immediately provide value. So if you're saying, hey, the top five websites that I use to build my YouTube channel, immediately go into the list. Don't stall out any longer because now you have them hook. You now have to immediately provide value. OK, so that's how you literally that's one of the most important ways to create viral videos on Instagram or TikTok. Um, so literally, that's the formula. Um, so whoop, let me go back there. Um, so then value, like I said, and then call to action and then trendy sounds. How the heck do I find trendy sounds? It's actually pretty simple. So there are two techniques to find trendy sounds on Instagram or TikTok. It's actually really simple. The first one is Trend Talk, which is an app. It's actually a paid app to get the full version. Um, if you're really serious about growing your account, I recommend making that investment. I totally forgot how much it actually is, but it's no more than $20, I think. Um, but it's an app um, that allows you to find not only do you find trendy sounds, but you can also use their AI that predicts the next kind of trendy sound so you can kind of get ahead of the curve. 
or you can do what I do, and that's also just going to the Instagram creator page and looking at what's trending. They, like I said, they have the trend report here. Um, I also like to scroll through some some reels and see what's viral, and then use their sounds as well. Sounds don't matter too much, but you know you obviously want to be in the loop and make sure you're using trendy sounds. And then last but not least, let's close off the video with Flick. Uh, Flick is uh, Flick that tech is the exact website name right here. Flick that tech. Uh, basically, you just type in your hashtags here, and it's so easy to find your hashtag. So, for example, if you are a uh, making work from home content, you literally type work from home, and then it's going to tell you exactly what's high competitive, what's medium competitive, and what's low competitive. I would recommend you use 8 to 15 hashtags. This is the new algorithm that Instagram themselves said that they're going to be pushing out. So, you want to use maybe one or two high competitive ones more so medium ones and then maybe like one low one so you can rank in there um or you can do something like um grow my instagram right just type in something right whatever your niche is as you can see here it's going to tell you related hashtags um and then boom so that is basically the technique you need to use to grow viral and get as many followers as quickly on instagram it's just really posting reels in that content format um yeah if you're watching this right now you, that means you stay to the end of the video and like i promise i have a gift for you in the description you can actually get access to my free instagram growth guide that i actually use to help grow my account definitely check it out it's a pdf created by a multi thousand dollar company that uses instagram strategies to grow multiple instagram accounts and monetize instagram so definitely check it out it's totally free go in the description download it and i want to thank you guys all so much if you haven't already make sure you subscribe like i said i'm trying to reach 10,000 followers and subscribers on YouTube by the end of August. So I truly appreciate that. Comment down below if you have any more questions. And I'll see you guys all next time. Take care.